so guys, I you know, it's crazy. Um, I'm gonna go off the beaten trail for a second, just bear with me. You know, Liz Cheney, like Liz Cheney was voted out of her seat in the House of Representatives. Like, are, are y'all familiar with that? Like, let me let me help you right now. Like Liz Cheney, who is an attorney whose father was Dick Cheney. Um, you know, he was eight years as the vice president under the Bush administration. She served under the Bush administration and she was voted out of her seat for telling the truth. Like she stood up in her party and said, look, this whole stop the steal is bogus. The president Trump, he lost. He lost fair and square. The, the, you know, this thing went around to a bunch of judges, Republican judges at that, and they ruled that there was no fraud. And because she told the truth, her life in politics is done. Like, it, I mean, it's the most, I know, just stay with me for a second, because I, it's so bizarre. I had to talk to y'all about this. This is what we do. And I'm thinking like, your word, like you can really lose your entire career, everything you work for, because you did something as simple as say the obvious, which is the truth. But. Putting that to the side, it is what it is. This weekend, you know, I'm walking down the street and I bump into this kid, right? This dude who I haven't bumped into in years. I probably ain't see this dude in 25 years, easy. And when I see him, homeboy look, he look a lot different. I mean, this is my man. This is he's from around the old way. I was in the Bronx, and you know, he's like, yo, Prez, yo, Prez, what up? So when I see him, he done put on weight. He got the grays. He looked a little different, but he was like, yo, it's me. So I'm happy when I saw him and we just conversing. He's congratulating me. He's like, yo, you know, I I love what you're doing. I follow you. Um, You know, I, 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 I've been with you along this whole journey and seeing your success, all the different things that you was able to accomplish. And he just was giving it up. And I was like, yo, it's just for me, it just was good to see him. And when... We parted ways. He went his way. I went my way and I kept it moving. I started, I was like, yo, I ain't seen homeboy in years. Like what happened? Like when's the last time I even saw him? And then it dawned on me. The last time I saw him is back when I used to throw parties. And when we used to throw parties, we had everybody from the hood in our parties, like everybody. And the parties was bumping. And you know, sometimes he would come to the party and on other weeks, his girl would come to the party. I mean, it wasn't abnormal for, for people and their chicks to come to the party in different weeks. But, you know, one week and another and another, his girl was in the party with somebody else that wasn't him. And we used to be like, like the whole crew, we used to be like, yo, do we tell him? Is, you know, like, like I pride myself on being a real one, but that's dangerous territory and somehow some way he got wind of it and he confronted us and he's like yo y'all are my boys i need y'all to tell me what's up like do you see honey in the like like is she in there with somebody else and you put me on the spot now granted i'm 19 year old sean like like i'm i, I want to give you the real but i'm like, I don't know what to do. But me being me, I said, yo, look, I know that that is your girl. I just don't know that you are her man. So she be in the party for sure. But the next nigga's tongue be down her throat. So you can take what you want. Like, I, I ain't want to bring this to you, but it is what it is. And I remember him getting pissed with me like pissed with me i'm you asked me like i didn't volunteer this information you asked me for this information 
And when I gave you the truth, like Liz Cheney, I was voted off the island. Like you actually, and the last, actually when I thought about it, I said the last time I saw this dude, he was walking down the street hand in hand with this girl. She rolled her eyes at me and he ice grilling me. But he done forgot about all that now. But it's something about the truth, y'all. Like the truth is the truth. And people don't want, no matter how much they say I want the truth, no matter how much they say, yo, tell me what it is. I need to hear the truth, but people don't want to hear it. I'm talking to my best friend yesterday and he's smiling and laughing and doing what he normally doing. He's like, yo, Sean, I love your videos, your inspirational rants, because you'll be giving it to people straight up. He said, but what you don't understand is the truth is a hard sell. Like, like people, like you telling them exactly what this journey is going to be. You telling them exactly how hard this journey is going to be. Now he said, yo, if you pulled out one of them whips and you did an infomercial talking about, take these three easy steps and in the next five months you could be rich, everybody will be tuned into you. But because you're telling people exactly what it's going to take, no holds barred, nobody wants to hear that because the truth is a hard freaking sell. He said, people, he said, Sean, I'm on the outside. He said, what you don't realize is people look at you. They know who you are. People, like, like they done followed your journey. People know exactly what it is you've done, your accolades. They know that right now you're doing this, not because you need to, but because you want to. This is optional for you. They're wearing that. But for them, they're like, yo, I see you, but there has to be an easier way. There has to be a quicker way to the finish line. There has to be a much, much more simpler way to get this done. And you keep telling them this thing is going to be painful. This thing ain't happening overnight. This thing is going to take a lot of time and it is going to break most of y'all. He said, do you think people want to hear that? Or do they want to hear, go out there and you can be rich in five months? That is what sells, Sean. And I'm sitting there and I'm contemplating like, yo, damn, maybe I'm giving it to him too raw. Maybe I need to switch my style up. And I had to sleep on it. And this morning when I woke up, I said, Sean, you wouldn't be you if you didn't live in your truth. This is your truth. It might not be popular. It might not be what people want to hear. But it is the truth. This journey ain't easy. It ain't going to be easy. When I was talking to my man, he said, Sean, they see you now. What they don't see. It's when we was doing them parties and you was riding the train after the parties because your grandfather locked you out the house. They don't see that. He said what they don't see is me sneaking you into the basement and letting you sleep on my floor until you had to go to work and work that part time job down the block. They don't see that. They don't see us getting group signed and group signed and all of these different acts that we actually got record deals and none of them came out. And the last one that we got signed was this huge girl group. This was going to be the one that changed our life and the lead singer get pregnant. They don't see all of that. They see you now. That's what you got to understand. And this is what they don't want to accept is that it's going to be hard. It's going to be disappointments. It's going to be bumps in the road. And I'm like, yo, you know what? Be it as it may, I'm going to do what got me here to begin with. And I'm going to just give them straight up rawness. I'm going to give it to them unfiltered. So the truth of the matter is, y'all, y'all know what y'all doing. And you know what you're not doing. Is there ever been a time 
Because there's very few times in any of our life when we get results and it's news to us. It's very few times when we get any type of results and we looking like, yo, I didn't see that coming. You damn right you saw it coming. When you telling yourself, I'm going to give up fried chicken and I'm going to give up all of this greasy food because I'm going on a diet. I'm eating salads. But every day you still in McDonald's and then you step on that scale. Are you really surprised that you didn't take off one pound? Are you kidding me? Are you really, really surprised when your baby mama come to you and she talking about you ain't this and you ain't that and you thinking you did something because you paying three, four hundred dollars max in child support and she looking at you talking about that three, four hundred dollars don't even cover half the rent. Are you really surprised that she's looking at you like, yo, you a deadbeat? Are you really surprised when you went out there and yes, you got yourself a high value man. Yes, you did. Kudos to you. You got yourself one of them high value niggas. You can go out there, you can spend, you can do what you want. But a few years done pass. He ain't looking at you like he used to. He done moved on to the next chick and you walking around miserable with a few more years under your belt. Is it really surprising that you chose him for the wrong reasons and now you miserable and this is your outcome? Where's the surprise in that? If we're just truthful with ourselves, if we're just honest with ourselves, that is the starting place to getting where we want to go. This journey, life, it is simple. We make it hard. The answers are always simple, even to the toughest questions. We know what we doing and we know what we ain't doing. And I'm telling y'all, if you sit down and you're truthful and you're honest with yourself, that is where your life is going to take the turn for the better. When I put out these videos and I put up a video and it says pain is part of the process. I got people hitting me talking about I'm blowing trees to numb the pain. Are you kidding me? You got to embrace that pain. That's where you're going to finally get to a point where you can look in the mirror and say, I did something. It ain't no surprise to me when I see people and they talking about, I want it, I want it, I want it. And they don't never get it. You lost your job talking about, I bring value to the table. Is it a surprise that as soon as you left the company, ain't nothing changed? Everything kept going smooth sailing? It ain't been no stops, no bumps in the road. But you talking about you bring, is it really a surprise that you lost your job? Is it really a surprise that somebody got bumped up, promoted over you? Where's the surprise in that? We know what we're doing and we know what we're not doing. And I'm telling y'all, yes, pain is part of the process. Yes, this thing is going to be hard. Yes, there are going to be so many obstacles and adversities that we got to overcome. But it's doable. It's doable. And one of my favorite movies, I'm one of them superhero type movie dudes. And I love the X-Men. And I love the movie because... In the X-Men, all of them heroes, they're born with their superpower. They're born with it. It's just they don't know that they got this superpower. So as they get a little older and they're getting bullied and they're getting pushed around and all of this obstacles and pains and suffering is coming into their life. Just when they're really ready to tap out, just when they're ready to give up. And they decide, let me take one extra step. That is when their superpower reveals itself. And that's the same thing I'm telling y'all. Your superpower is in you. Take the extra step. Take one more step forward. I know it hurt. I know sometimes you want to give up. But by taking that extra step, 
That's where you're going to find your superpower. Movers. Y'all know we get up in here week over week. And I try my best to give it to y'all as real as I possibly can. I need y'all to look in the mirror and I need y'all to honestly say to yourself, am I giving it 110%? And am I, am I giving it everything I got? And if I'm not, let that truth hurt. Let the truth hurt. 